I'm, I'm going to expose a little bit the difference between the fluoroscopy and the ultrasound coupled to a microendoscope. I'm not going to go into the details of the machine. Already everybody talked about the machine. So uh, with no further delay, you know all of you that fluoroscopy uses radiation. It allows images guidance during um, spine interventions, but it needs a hospital setup and uh, is actually the standard of care. Everybody is using fluoroscopy now for spine pain and for spine injections. Ultrasound does not use radiation. It is specially indicated in pediatric pregnant ladies or in case of allergy to dye. Uh, this is a portable device. You can do those procedures in your, in your clinic. No need for a hospital setup. And it, it, it should be at one point the alternative to fluoroscopy with some limitations we're going to talk about that. So if we combine ultrasound with fluoroscopy, Definitely, we have some limitation with the ultrasound when you have an, uh, an obese patient. You cannot visualize uh, adequately your target. So all these, <coughs> the accuracy and the safety will limit the evidence based uh, of all the use of ultrasound is the spine. Uh, we're conducting actually now a study comparing ultrasound to uh, fluoroscopy just to validate the uh, ultrasound technique and make it evidence-based by adding the seven-star scope to the ultrasound uh, technique. So this is the device. You all now know about the device. So the rationale of the technique is to look at the needle from the outside. So overlook the needle. So you have real-time guidance. You can see the vessels. You can see uh, every structure on your way. You can prevent the puncturing vessel. It's a portable device, no ionization. From the inside, you're looking from inside the needle. This will uh, minimize the risk of puncturing tissue, and that will increase the safety, and you will have a better accuracy, better success rate when you're, you're, you're inside the needle. So the, the regular ultrasound, the limitation, you cannot see through bone or air. It is a tight window in the spine, and you might have difficulty to confirm the right position. If you couple it to the micro you can you can see through air or underneath bone. It's easy to see when you have air cavity and underneath bone. So uh, the advancement of the needle will be under direct vision, and you can confirm the uh, targeted tissue by, uh, by direct visualization. So the regular ultrasound, you might mislabel the targeted tissue. You don't see the tissue. You're not sure this is the tissue. So you might have false positives or false negative. You cannot rule out reliably the intravascular injection. You cannot rule out the targeted tissue injury. And it's a, a steep learning curve. You need to, to master the <coughs> ultrasound. You need time. You need to get used to the, to the ultrasound. If you couple it to the micro -autoscope, you can have a direct visualization. Definitely, while you're having a direct visualization, you're not going to touch vessel. You're going to avoid vessel. You're going to avoid, avoid the, the injury of targeted tissue. And you will have confidence. In, in, your confidence will increase to advance your needle because you're seeing from inside the needle. So learning curve is very, is very rapid when you use the, the uh, seven stars. Fluoroscopy versus ultrasound. Fluoroscopy, usually it, you have images of the bone. You indirectly locate the soft tissue. It requires the injection of contrast material to be able to visualize. The ultrasound, the images you can see, as you know, muscles, tendons, and ligaments. It allows direct visualization, and there's no need for contrast, but you need to couple it to the micro -endoscope to be safe and to be accurate. So fluoroscopy needs contrast material. You need only the contrast material to, to be sure that you're in the right spot and you're not directly visualizing the blood vessels. But if you do put dye, you're sure you're not inside the blood vessel. So you cannot uh, be sure 100% that you did not puncture those vessels or you did not touch those uh, targeted tissue. And definitely there's a potential allergy to contrast and potential allergy in case of renal failure. If you couple the ultrasound to the microendoscope, 
Definitely, you're safely placing your needle in the right spot. You're preventing intravascular injection and, intra and the vessel injury. You're not touching the vessels because you can see that you're directly visualizing the targeted tissue during the intervention, and definitely there's no need for contrast material. I'm going to just uh, expose my, my experience with the Seven Star Scope. Uh, usually, the main bulk of my, my practice is spine pain. I'm going to expose the codal injections. So, as you all know, codal injection under a regular ultrasound uh, is 100% accurate. You're always sure that your needle is in the right spot once you bypass the sacrococcygeal ligament. But you're never sure that you did not puncture the dura or a vessel, as you know, though this area is very highly vascularized. If you compare it to the microendoscope, you can have direct visualization of the dura and direct visualization of the vessels before doing the injection. So this is what we usually see in a, in a regular ultrasound. This is the sacral oxygen ligament to bypass it. You're just in the caudal space. And this is what we see with the microendoscope. You can see the dura here, the bone down there. You can see the space, the epidural space. This is a bubble of air inside. So a uh, transferamine steroid injection we discussed it yesterday, uh, uh, definitely with the ultrasound and the wristband, you see the whole needle pass, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be able to prevent intravascular uh, injury, uh, definitely nowadays the fluoroscopy with live contrast and the dig digital subtraction imaging is the, the technique of choice. Most of the, of the professional uh, pain management uh, technicians will use the fluoroscopy and are used to fluoroscopy. If you couple it to the microendoscope, we might replace the fluoroscopy by direct visualization of the vessel at the nerve. And this is the target of our new study being conducted at our uh, department, comparing uh, the ultrasound coupled to the microendoscope versus the with the, uh, the fluoroscopy technique, which is the standard technique, evidence-based technique. We need the ultrasound coupled to the microendoscope to be as efficient as the, uh, as the fluoroscopy technique. So uh, once you improve your procedure efficiency, having a technique which is accurate and safe, definitely you will have a better outcomes. Having better outcomes, you will, have, you will lower your potential risk and complication, and this definitely will be more cost-effective. Thank you.